It is Thursday. Uh, we are just crossing Oklahoma and it is the 21st of March. I'm mainly putting this on my phone, video clip on my phone, so when I put all the clips together into a video, I know which day starts and which day ends. That's Hannah. Jackson, say hi. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you hungry? A little. You just ate. Ellie, are you hungry? No. Okay. How's your book, Jack? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We'll figure out your Kindle charging stuff, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, so, we crossed in Oklahoma, and we're getting gas at the Megastar Casino and gas station all in one. And then we're going to just head up into Oklahoma. That's the plan today. Just keep driving. Not like all day, all day, but uh, two to three hours, depending on the route and traffic. Hasn't even been three hours, maybe an hour and a half. We got a little bit of truck issues because it wouldn't be a multi-state travel route if our truck didn't decide to go <clears throat> window limp mode like check engine light came on, went to limp mode, wouldn't let us get above a certain miles per hour. And then we parked and we got some delicious gas station food. And then we came back out and then it was fine, but the check engine light is still on. So we called a mechanic in the area in Ada, Oklahoma. And we are at Haley Diesel and Automot Automotive nearby. And uh, we're gonna see what they say. I mean, it's working now, so at the very least, he'll just reset reset it so we can keep going. And if it, anyone who knows things about trucks, well, I just asked my husband how much it would probably cost, and he said 200 bucks just to read it and reset it. It's okay. It's fine. At least it, we did it in a place that had a diesel mechanic that was available to look at it. See what we got. Number two cylinder injector problem. Turbo or supercharger under boost. Go pub injection. I don't normally film other people working, so that clip is all you got. And now the boys are out there inspecting the hit underneath the hood to figure out what's wrong. And more importantly, how much it's going to cost us to eventually get it fixed. You're in camera, Jess. So show, what's going on? Oh, well, our, we broke down our tires so much that we got wires sticking out of it right here. Oh, gee. You can feel it. Oh, my gosh. How did we find this out? Uh, engine broke down. <laughs> we went into so, we're going to get a whole new set of tires on the truck. Uh-huh. And... He says he's got another replacement for that one. And so five new tires. Uh-huh. And it's only been two hours since we left home or where we're at. Yeah. Way to wait way to be a good start to the trip, babe. Oh, are you kidding me? It's a sign. Just think I'll a little run that once it's all fixed. <laughs> so you wanna explain about the tires on the truck, what happened? The I'm tires. putting yeah, I'm putting this on in the in the video. So can you explain what happened? Well, first, there was this tire. They were fell in love with this other tire, okay? And they got together and they had tire babies. All right. Uh, what happened to the truck tires? Let's start with that. Oh, oh, you want to know about the truck tires? Okay. That's a different story. Um, well, the truck tires, one tire was uh, the wrong size. What was the size? I want to say... 265? That sounds right. Probably. I don't remember. It was, it was just basically bigger. Okay. I, mean, I didn't mean bigger. Where'd, the, where'd that tire come from? That's a good question. It came from some other tire joint. That that tire joint had babies too. <laughs> Alright, so it was this big tire. Yes. Alright, and what about the other three tires? Well, the other three tires were normal baby tires. They're like 245s or something like that. So basically my truck is for this entire, you know, like six to eight months has been 
driving sort of at an angle like this. So what did that do to the tires? It made the the, the tires sort of bald on one side. It made the big tire just fine. It was like, hey, man, I ain't doing any work. So it was fine the whole entire time. It was almost like brand new is what it looked like. But the rest of the tires, they just they were just bald on one side. It's like, hey, man, I'm dead. I'm, 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 I'm lost. I'm like skin and bones over here. And uh, the tire in the back was kind of funky and off as well, too. So to make things simple, we just made them all the same tires. We, we just replaced them all. Called it good. But that doesn't explain the trailer tire. What happened to the trailer tire? Well, the trailer tire, all the tires on the on the trailer were exact same size, okay? But this one very specific trailer tire was so bald that it it made a brand newborn baby look hairy. In other words, the the metal was coming out. Dude, what? it was like it was like a the chia pets. Yeah, see, it was like a chia pet, and you could see their hair, like, growing out. Like, you push down, and more would be flying out. What else happened to that trailer tire? Well, it actually stabbed the mechanic in the finger. So he he got all mad that he was, like, bleeding all over the place. It was, like, spurring, gushing, and all that stuff. But, <laughs> hey, you know what? It, it, it was, it was, oops, I pricked myself. What, what else happened to that tire? What else happened to the tire? They got replaced. What else did he notice with that tire when the mechanic looked at it? The lug nuts out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that was me that noticed that. Um, basically, the lug nuts were just not on there. I don't know how that sucker stayed on. I think, like, two of the lug nuts were actually tight. The rest of them were just hanging on the edge and everything. I mean, I went over there and I, you know, hand-tightened them. Got them all the way to the end. But I don't know how the lug nuts were still there. That one's been hanging out like that for, like, probably two years. I should probably check my tires more often. Okay, so how do we come across this mechanic? How'd you find the mechanic? Well, it was really cool. My wife found this dartboard, and she's like, okay, where well, you want to go here, here, or here? And I said, I don't know. Let's go here, and I threw the dart. Pretty much. And so we got five new tires. Yeah. And what happened with the engine? What, what did he replace? I don't quite remember. Pigtails. Yeah, I think it was pigtails. It was like the second pigtail shorted out or something like that. Okay. And so after everything was said and done, how much does this cost you? $1,200. How much does a set of tires usually run you at, let, let's say, Costco? Costco for four tires, $1,200. Not bad. Not bad. So five <laughs> tires... Plus a engine repair. Plus labor. Yeah, plus labor. On a mechanic salary, I think we did all right. And how far had we tr driven, driven from point A to point B where we went to mechanic? Well, what do you classify as point A to point B? Because, you know, from our previous stop, it was probably maybe, what, 20 miles? From the time we left the RV park... Okay, we're going for the RV park. All right. I think it was 160 miles. Um, I would like everyone to know that from the time we left Lake Texoma Thousand Trails in North Texas to the mechanic was only 79 miles total. And for those who don't operate in miles, it was about three energy drinks worth. <laughs> I swear pretty soon we're going to have a whole, like, 20 video playlist of truck trouble truck troubles no I, th I think what's really going to happen is, is you're going to start seeing my hair stick up like this more often and then you'll see gray hair sprouting out and it'll be like i will be just like oh, i don't even remember the movie ace ventura with the tutu and everything 